What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So this is a different video from what I usually upload because basically what's going to go down in this video is the fact that I forced 40 of my viewers to go and farm Uldeman. Everyone had to farm Uldeman. And for a lot of people that doesn't make sense. Like why and why Uldeman? And but for those of you who have been in the gold making community for a while, you know why. Uldeman has some of the rarest and hardest to get items in the game, worth literal millions. Like, they are absolutely insane and insanely hard to get. There's a reason why they're worth millions of gold. So, I myself had to do over a thousand runs in order to get my first super item, which was a Papal Fest. But you have items like the, uh, the Digmaster right here, posted currently for gold cap. And uh, there's the Jackhammer, Pendulum of Doom, the Miner's Hat, the, the Powderings of Lost Age. There's a giant list of super items, and they are all extremely hard to get. So I've done several episodes where I've uh, done Old Man a hundred times, spent 10 hours in the place, and then showed you guys the loot. So I had this idea, what if I just forced everyone to do Old Man, and we will get loot for from like hundreds of hours uh in just uh like one lap one hour could we get a super item in just one hour as a community so we're gonna fast forward to that i've obviously i've sped up this video a lot because otherwise it would take an hour to watch it right but we managed to get i think it was just above 40 people in this add-on and if you guys don't know what the add-on is all about it's ludicrous or challenge it's basically just uh, a bunch of add-ons that you gotta get, and it will display what loot you're getting on my screen and your own screen. So we're competing against each other to see what items we get, and it uses TSM to track the value of those items. So it's a super smooth add-on used for this. So this way, I can take a look at every single item that everyone is picking up. And the list is only showing 15 people, but uh, there is like 41 people or so in this one. So... Right now, there's nothing really badass that has dropped yet in the first five minutes. The comfortable leather hat, the pattern, is the best one. Uh, and that's a cool thing about Uldeman. It has a bunch of patterns and plants worth a lot of gold. And the best one probably being the uh, rich purple uh, silk shirt and also the searing golden blade. But that's not necessarily what you want to get. You want to get super items, which are very unlikely. And besides from that, you want to get something that's called the Jinsu that just popped up right here. Levels granted, picked up a Jinsu sword. The cool thing about that is, well, besides the fact that it's half a million gold, is the fact that it sells relatively fast considering its big price tag. So if you guys have farmed collectibles in the past, you know that usually the more gold they're worth, the, uh, the longer it takes to sell them, right? And that's, ladies and gentlemen, after 12 minutes, as you can see in the screen, Vatu picked up a Pendulum of Doom with a market value of 3.8 million gold. That is a super item. I've never in my life received one of those myself. And the odds weren't with us. Let's just... Let's just say, like, the odds aren't with us at all. Even if we have 40 people all doing all the man, if everyone does 10 runs, that results in uh, 400 runs of all the man. And on average, from all my personal data and a lot of people in my community, it's not normal to get a super item within 400 runs, right? If you do 400 runs of all the man, you're not likely to get a super item. That's how hard they are to, to get, right? So to put that into perspective, this is really lucky. Uh, and I think that this is like a super fun thing to do on stream when you just force everyone to do the same dungeon to try and get like the best items that the dungeon has to offer. Uh, I'm just not sure if you guys watching my YouTube videos are interested in this video format. So please let me know, because if you are, I can do similar stuff with a bunch of other farms and dungeons and do like these highlight videos to show what we received. And right now, Team Tryhard Serms just picked up one of the plants, well, the plant that's the best, the Searing Golden Blade. The only reason why it has a, a lot of value is not because the crafted weapon itself is really badass. It's just because the chance of getting that plant is very low, right? My best item, as you can see on that list, is only a, a pattern for Shadowhood. Now, normally when you farm Uldeman, you're super happy with that. It's a great item, 
But like when people are getting super items, and there you go, with another pattern, the rich purple silk shirt worth almost half a million gold. Your shadow hood pattern at 63,000 gold doesn't feel as nice, right? Uh, but it's still a decent item. And I'm going to say this again, and I've said this many times before. You should not farm old man. Old man is farmed by a lot of people, especially people that are new to the game, because they want to get some a super item. But you're not going to make a lot of gold running old man unless you strike it big and you're really, really lucky. But when you're starting out, you'll make way more gold doing dungeons that drops decent items more frequently. Because actually having loot worth posting on the auction house after doing old man is really, really tough. So this is not like a financial advice on making gold in WoW. Do not start by farming old man. Old man should only be farmed... It, like when you when you're aware that you're going into old demand without really making any gold right like you're just doing it for fun you're just trying to get one of these items for fun you're not really expecting to get any loot you already have an auction house that's generating you a lot of gold from previous farms and you just want to do something for fun but it's not a good farm because the drop chances to get some of the, the, the good items are so damn low. And it used to be a really good farm because all the items that now has a market value of less than 10,000 gold, less than 20,000 gold, all those items used to be like 30, 40, 50,000 gold. But then it's been extremely over farmed and it still is to this day. Now, there's only 19 minutes left of the, uh, the challenge and then we've done it for one hour. And it's sad to say that we didn't get another super item, we didn't get another Jinsu, we didn't get another Rich Purple or a Saren Golden Blade. These items that you're looking at in the top right are the top items that we actually got after our one hour of farming Uldemat. But I still consider that a win, because just getting these items in the first place is... Um, is relatively uh, relatively low. The chance of getting them is low. I was, however, expecting a Jinsu because I've done so thousands of runs of Uldemat, and when you have 40 people running Uldemat, 10 runs each, 400 runs, uh, it, like, on average, you'll get a Jinsu within 400 runs by far. My record is getting four of them in 100 runs. That made me a lot of gold, obviously. So... With that being said, though, that was pretty much it for this video format. So hopefully you guys liked the video. And please let me know. If you guys want me to do something similar, try and grab my community and force them to do a certain farm. It can be open world. It can be a dungeon. If you guys have suggestions for that, leave it down below in the comment section. And as always, this video is, of course, sponsored by the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide. So if you haven't picked that up yet, make sure to do so now by using the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT and you'll get it for 50% off. And if you already have the Gold Guide and you like it, you'll definitely like the VIP Discord. It's pretty much like a Patreon where everything gets thrown on this VIP Discord. There's a bunch of exclusive content on there, like... You get to watch all of these YouTube videos before anyone else, so you get like the um, you get the benefits uh, of being before everyone. So you can go to the gold farm before it gets ruined because everyone jumps on it. And there's also other exclusive content like gold tips, investments, spreadsheets, uh, various spreadsheets for gold making, and much more. And of course, it's a nice way to support me as a content creator. But that's going to be linked down below in the description together with the gold guide. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all back in at the next one. But until then, bye bye.